In this video, I want to talk about the differences between red pill and blue pill and if either one is better than the other. There's a lot of content out there, so I want to define it for the purposes of this video. Blue pill is basically you keep your same beliefs and your allegiances and you just go about your life believing what you're taught and what you're programmed. And if you're happy, you're happy and that's the world you live in. Red pill is all about challenging the beliefs that you were taught, challenging how you've been programmed by society and taking control of your life. It seeks knowledge, reasoning, critical thinking. And I want to relate this story to the biblical story of Genesis because that will give us some insight in how to view this stuff. Basically, when Adam and Eve were in the garden, they were pretty much blue pill. God told them, you can eat of every fruit of every tree, blah, 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 but you don't eat of this uh, true tree, uh, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, all that stuff. But here comes the snake, Satan, devil, however you want to come. He says, no, you're not going to die. You're going to live. You're going to know about knowledge and stuff like that, and you're going to be like God. So basically, I offered the red pill to Adam and Eve. So they ate it. Everyone knows. Then they got, they found out that they were living in sin. They were naked. They sought to clothe themselves, and basically their whole worldview were shattered. So in a way, you can look at it as they did die. That old, ignorant part of them died, and they saw the world in the new light. So then they were filled with sin. We're not going to get into that. But basically, they were kicked out of the garden. Now, one person on the red pill side was saying, it's good. The story is negative because they learned sin. But the good side is without that, without that consuming the red pill, there would be no progress. If the story is true, we would be basically in the garden, live and have a go life. We wouldn't have the computers, the technology that we have today, this, uh, the amount of connectivity and growth that we have today without that consuming the red pill, without that pain, without that suffering of what we went through. On the other side, if they wouldn't have done that and they would have kept the blue pill, just live going back to their normal life and just live in the garden then they would, would be happy there would no be no struggle there would be no pain there would be no suffering but they would still be ignorant of the world so you can take that into account and see which one that you want for your life do you want to be happy do you want to be uh live uh live your life but it's kind of a false life is not you're not living in reality and truth with a capital t or do you want to say hey life isn't how they say it is it's harder it's tough just because i work 60 hours in a job that doesn't mean that they're going to appreciate me are you going to challenge your thoughts take the effort to re-examine yourself and understand the suffering that that will cause because basically you're destroying your old self. You're killing that part of yourself. Like they say in Game of Thrones, kill the boy so the man can uh, live. Are you going to take more effort in self-development, improving yourself? Because there's no growth, no development without suffering. So those are the main differences between red pill and blue pill. And don't let someone tell you that just because they worked out and they made all this money that they're still, that they're red pill. Because red pill means that you're growing, you're progressing. Red pill signifies flesh and blood, health, the living human being. And to be alive means to progress. Like a river, it keeps on flowing. If it doesn't flow and it stays stagnant, it's dead. So you're blue pill just because you stepped out of blue pill for a period of time 
to go into red pill and to continue to grow, that doesn't mean you can't fall back into an established routine and go into a blue pill, just like in the movie, in the Matrix, Neo leaves the Matrix, but then he can go back in. And then if he gets stuck within the Matrix, then you might as well just be blue pill. Luckily for Neo, he goes back in and goes back out. And that's kind of the cycles with, with human beings. We, some human beings, they start in this point and they never leave the matrix. And some human, and there are other human beings who they start at this, the starting point. They learn some more, they start to challenge themselves, they start to take control of their life and then they grow. And then something happens in their life and they stop growing. That's not good either. In my personal opinion, the path that I took or the path that was chosen for me due to circumstances in life I choose red pill because I fell in love with progressing. Red pill is not happiness, but it, red pill is fulfillment. Red pill is growth. So that's why I chose red pill and that's what people don't usually tell you, at least what I found from these videos, that red pill is the key to happiness. It's not. As you learn more, then you'll learn that things aren't as good as they seem to be. There's a quote from Solomon. He says, with much wisdom comes much grief. He that increases knowledge increases sorrow. And the more I learn about things, the more I understand that that's kind of true. But I still choose it because I choose growth, knowledge, progression, and truth over happiness. And you can make that choice for yourself. If you like the video, like. If you want to hear more, subscribe. Thank you.